You know, even I get surprised at what I have or haven't covered in this game. But really, Beard? Cactus? You haven't even discussed Cactus before? I guess not, and I apologize, as Cactus is not only arguably a top two food item, but it is certainly one of the most important around, given what it does and leads us to gameplay-wise. It's good. It's really good, folks. So let's talk why that is. But first, we need to know where to get the green prickly plants in the first place. Cactus grows in the desert, and the desert alone, mind you. But thankfully, we have two deserts to choose from in this game, so cacti numbers should be pretty good in every world. But the dragonfly desert here has round cacti, while the oasis desert has the more tubular kind dotted around it. They are literally the exact same apart from how they look though, so don't worry there. But do note how cacti can then just help indicate which desert you're actually in nice and swiftly. But you know what's not so nice? The fact that people still don't know that they cannot, I repeat, cannot shovel up and transplant cacti. I somehow get so many questions about it to this day, so let's just answer them all right here, right now. No, you cannot dig up cacti. However, you can pick them though, so there's that. Both variants of cacti can be harvested for something called cactus flesh, but doing so will actually prick you for 6 damage each time. Not great, as that can actually catch up to you pretty quickly if you ain't careful. So then, it's a good thing that we are, right? Now it might seem like a waste, however switching to an armor set or even headgear armor when picking cacti can actually really help lower the cost of doing so to less than 2 health each harvest. It is worth it, so do it. Oh, but we can do so, so much better than that. Wormwood's Bramble Armor is not only one of the best in the entire game, even given its low durability and protection, it fully negates damage from spiky bushes, bramble traps, rose picking, and yup, you guessed it, cactus. Heck, the armor itself won't even lose durability along the way, so that's a bonus. And seriously, use bramble husks more often, folks. They're so good. But let's talk the green stuff, shall we? Again, a single thing of cactus flesh is harvested per cacti, and while raw, it will restore minus 3 health, 12.5 hunger, and minus 5 sanity. Not good, but it will serve a purpose here in a moment. Now cooked cactus flesh, on the other hand, restores 1 health, 12.5 hunger once more, but plus 15 sanity instead, making it one of the better sanity foods in the entire game due to its availability, obviously. But more on that later. So for now, eat up. Or maybe prepare an even bigger meal with what you've already got. Guacamole is a thing in this game, and in typical Don't Star fashion, it is indeed made via a mole within a crock pot. But toss in at least one raw cactus flesh, along with any fillers that aren't fruit, and you will be rewarded with a dish that restores 20 health, 37.5 hunger, and 0 sanity. Nothing too special if I'm honest, and yes, nowadays, stone fruit can actually replace the cactus flesh, however let us not count out those looking for a friend. Guacamole, along with a steel wool from an Eucus, are both required in adopting Eulit from the Rock Den. Yes, pets are also a thing in this game, and this won't even be the last one we show off here today. But before we get to that, we need to brave the heat, and discuss what happens to cacti come summer. For you see, not only will the appearances change, harvesting cacti will not only result in cactus flesh alone, but also things called cactus flowers. And yes, both the cacti variants within the oasis desert and dragonfly desert will undergo this seasonal change. So decide which is better for you. Sandstorm or no sandstorm, but cactus flowers. What's their deal? Well, cactus flowers cannot be cooked, so what you see is what you get. And what you get is yet another food item that will restore 8 health, 12.5 hunger, and 5 sanity each munch. Not bad, but it does spoil very quickly, so I would actually refrain from simply eating them straight up. 
And that's for a couple reasons, of course, of which we'll get to. But do make note here. Ten cactus flowers are absolutely required in order to complete the final stage of the Hermit Home, aka Pearl's House. Remember how I alluded to Cactus being huge in terms of gameplay? Yes, this is why. As without Pearl's home being completed, you can never finish her quest, so be prepared. And perhaps dress for the occasion. The floral shirt is another craft that requires cactus flowers, and it is a dress item that'll provide a plus 3.3 sanity per minute gain, spoils over time instead of having basic durability, and grants 240 points of overheating protection, which actually matches the highest around. It's okay as a last resort, I suppose, but it definitely should not be your go-to option, especially as cactus flowers have one last thing up their sleeve. And yes, it is indeed more food talk. Cactus flowers also go into making another crockpot dish, flower salad. Essentially a summer-only food, given just how quickly things spoil in this game in general. Flower salad is still pretty good at 40 health, 12.5 hunger, and 5 sanity restored per meal. But note that the recipe is only a cactus flower and other veggies essentially, so be ready for that. However, the best thing about flower salad doesn't even come from munching on it, folks. For you see, along with a moon moth gotten from a loon tree on the lunar island or such, a flower salad can help us adopt the mothling. By far the best critter in the game, as it is the only one that even does a bloody thing. As when properly fed, a mothling will actually provide light. And yes, it is enough to stave off Charlie and survive the night. Great stuff. But the cherry on top of it all, everyone, is this. Cactus grows in winter. Yup, not even the fallen of the white stuff can stop cactus. So take advantage there. Not of the white stuff, mind you. The cactus, you sickos. And there you have everyone, a long overdue guide on cacti and how bloody amazing it is. A phenomenal food that leads to good food itself. Said food will lead to the best pets and even helps progress the story of the game entirely. And it's a food that will be around forever at your disposal. So in short, food equals good and who can argue against that but thanks for watching folks well wishes to all get that green but avoid the pricks and i'll see you in the next one bye bye